When I was a kid, was there an author that really inspired me? Um, yes, there were lots. The first author who actually really inspired me, I think, was probably C.S. Lewis. I discovered C.S. Lewis when I was about six and a half. Because um, I remember I had The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and a lot of them, and, and The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, persuaded my parents to get me all of the books my seventh birthday. And what I loved about C.S. Lewis was his, the way he would put statements in parentheses as if he was confiding in you. And it was the first time I think I ever realized that there was somebody writing this. There was somebody there making it up, and he was treating me like a friend. And he put things in parentheses, and I go, when I grow up, I'm going to put things in parentheses. <laughs> I would look at the sort of things in italics, and I think, how do they do that? I don't know how you do that. <laughs> One day I'll be an author, I'll know how to do that. <laughs> and that, that was definitely the first point that I ever, I, you know, I think I dreamed of being an author the way that other kids dreamed of being astronauts or, or sporting heroes. I had daydreams about slipping into an alternate universe. I mean, the authors who tended to inspire me as a kid tended to be the ones who made writing look fun. There's an author named Roger Zelazny. <laughs> I commend to all of you. If you like my stuff, you may well like Roger's. Um, and he was one of the authors who just made it look more fun than anybody. Um, Cleveland's own Harlan Ellison made it <laughs> really short stories and you could tell there was a personality there. You could tell there was somebody writing them. And that always that was so inspirational to me. What would you like to know? What am I working on right now? Um, right this minute while I'm not actually standing in front of you. I'm about, I just finished a short story called The Trouble, it, it, the, the first draft it was called The Trouble with Belinda, but I think it's going to be called The Trouble with Cassandra um, in the next one. And that's for an anthology called Star-Crossed Lovers, edited by Gardner Gozois and George R. R. Martin. And it's kind of fun because it's the first piece of actual adult fiction. I've written in a while. Um, it's that sort of point where you know, I, I don't really think of myself as being any one kind of thing, but there is a sort of weird point where you suddenly turn around and you go, actually, I've been mainly writing children's stuff for a while now, and um, even the short stories have been children's stories. So this one isn't. It's a story about a man in his 30s who, um, when he was about 14 or 15, to impress his friends who were all older than him, he, he made up a girlfriend and did that thing where he, he wrote her name on his exercise books and talked about her a bit. And um, she was his first girlfriend, except that she didn't actually exist, but his friends didn't know that. And now he's in his 30s, his friends start saying things to him like, hey, I heard from that girlfriend of yours. <laughs> And she started to contact them on Facebook and she runs <laughs> his mother in the supermarket. And it's what you do when somebody that you made up a long time ago turns up in your life. So that's what I just finished.